Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best 3D printers in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 7. Anycubic Photon Mono 2 the Anycubic Photon Mono 2 is a great and affordable option for anyone who is new to or want to get started with resin 3D printing. This printer is compact and lightweight so it won't take up a lot of space and can easily be stored away. It's shipped mostly assembled which makes set of a snap. But don't let the size of this printer fool you, the Photon Mono 2 has a 20% larger build volume than its predecessor. In our testing, we were able to fit 6 press-supported miniatures on the build plate at once. This printer delivers very detailed 4K print quality, is great for miniatures and small models, and comes with its own custom slicer, the Photon Workshop V3. The Anycubic Photon Mono 2 has a black base that is largely plastic and a blue plastic hood. The machine is very light and could be improved with rubber feet to prevent it from sliding around the counter. The hood feels a bit like Tupperware, but it still does a good job shielding the print area from UV light. There is metal where needed, like around the glass and Z-axis. The Photon Mono 2 packs a lot of detail in its prints. It has the same light turbo system you'll find on newer Anycubic machines, which provides smoother details. Its 4K light source on a 6.6x, 3.5-inch build surface equals an x slash we resolution of 34 microns. For comparison, a human hair averages 70 microns, depending on the person. This boils down to super crisp details on your tiniest prints. Number 6. Elegoo Neptune 3 Max If you want a printer that can output models as big as your imagination, the Elegoo Neptune 3 Max is a great choice. Thanks to a massive build volume of 420x 420x 500mm, it can output the large pieces you need to build cosplay helmets and props. We were able to print a very detailed 450mm Skyrim dagger by rotating it on the build plate and an inland silver PLA plus filament, it looked good enough to bring to battle. We also outputted a 500mm tall purple dragon that would dominate anyone's display case or mantle. Like its little sibling, the Neptune 3 Pro, the Neptune 3 Max features a direct drive system that allows it to handle complex filaments such as TPU. In fact, using face mode, we were able to output a flexible, translucent green TPU trash can. The textured PI build platform did a great job of holding prints in place without the need for glue, and yet made removing them easy. Assembling the Neptune 3 Max is a breeze as we only had to screw in a few bolts to put the machine together and attach the touchscreen base to the side. Leveling the bed is pretty easy, though you will have to start by manually leveling the surface, after which there's a 63-point auto-leveling feature. The most difficult part of working with the Neptune 3 Max is that it takes up a lot of space, we had to sit it on our air hockey table, and you may need to get a large table to house it. But that's an inconvenience that's inevitable when you want huge prints at excellent quality. Number 5. Snapmaker Artisan 3-in-1 We've seen a few 3D printers that double as laser engravers, but most of these products live up to the phrase jack-of-all-trades, master of none. The Snapmaker Artisan 3-in-1 does three different things really well. Laser engraving, CNC carving, and 3D printing. You'll pay a large premium of $2,899 for this product, and you'll need a huge table to accommodate its 508x600 and 20x600 and 34mm, 20x24.4, 24.9 inches frame. However, if you want the features it provides, the Artisan 3-in-1 is a great choice. When it operates as a 3D printer, the Snapmaker Artisan 3-in-1 delivers huge, detailed prints thanks to a generous 400x 400mm build volume. It also has a dual hot end, with two extruders that each can connect to a different spool of filament, allowing for dual color or dual material prints. When we printed a black jar with red hearts on it, the output was sharp, and there was no bleeding or blurriness between the colors. The artisan had no problem printing a very tough RC car part in ABS, but flexible prints might be its a chill's heel. A TPU model of a bunny came out a little stringy, the Artisan 3-in-1 comes with a large enclosure you can place it inside, which is good not only for working with difficult filaments, but for protecting your eyes from damage when you are laser engraving with it. The laser can cut leather, wood, fabric or paper and engrave on a copper, aluminum, glass, stone and dark acrylic. 
We tested the laser and used it to create a model of a ruler and protractor that were burned into a 5mm sheet of plywood and found that the lines were clean and the marks and numbers on the ruler were sharp. The CNC function works for carving wood, acrylic, soft stone, carbon fiber, and even PSV. We used it to create a Lubin lock, a 3D puzzle that the machine carved out of a piece of NDF, medium density fiber, board. The model looked really good and only took 36 minutes to complete. Number 4. Elegoo Mars 2 Pro If you're getting into resin, 3D printing for the first time, you have an overwhelming number of options and price points. The good news for beginners is you don't have to sacrifice your budget for quality. You can find the easy-to-use Mars 2 Pro on sale for as little as $200. Its smaller build volume is perfect for gaming miniatures and trinkets, but not larger models. And though its tube resolution may not be the most detailed among resin printers, it is miles ahead of the quality you can achieve with a filament-based machine. The Mars 2 Pro comes with a built-in filter system that I found really helps with fumes associated with resin printing. Its spring-loaded self-leveling build platforms is hands down the easiest system we've ever used. The included drip bracket is a surprisingly useful tool that I found myself looking for after every print. After a model prints, resin typically pools on the top of the build platform and in the part, and it drips when the platform is removed from the printer. The drip bracket lets you mount the build platform at an angle after printing, which drains the resin back into the vat and makes scraping the rest off easy. I really like this style of bracket, and I hope to see it included as a standard accessory in other MSLA 3D printers going forward. The Mars 2 Pro uses a front-facing USB port for transferring files via thumb drive, just like the original Mars Pro. The 3.5-inch color touchscreen LCD is bright and allows for easy navigation to all of the various settings of the Mars 2 Pro. The LCD is the only interface between you and the printer, so the responsiveness of the screen is important when calibrating the build platform and selecting a part to print. Number 3. Anycubic Photon Mono M5s When it comes to printing in detail, nothing comes close to the Anycubic Photon Mono M5s, which features a whopping 12K resolution and achieves 19 micron X accuracy. It's also super fast. In our test, we were able to print a 3.5-inch model in less than an hour. Anycubic claims this printer has the ability to reach an average print speed of 105 mm slash hour. So if you are looking for a high-speed, high-res printer, the M5 says you covered. Amazingly, the Photon Mono M5s doesn't require any manual calibration. This is the first resin printer we've tested that provides auto-leveling using mechanical sensors, which not only saves time but also makes it super easy to set up. Just add resin and you are ready to go. Anycubic has also come out with its own specialty high-speed resin, sold separately or included in bundle kits, which works with the M5s and is the secret sauce that helps to cut the time of your prints tremendously. With all these and more smart features the Photon Mono M5s has to offer, it is a great option for makers looking for a mid-size high-resolution printer. Also, a smart buy as it is currently $40 off its usual $539 MSRP. Number 2. Bambi Lab P1P If you feel the need for speed when it comes to your print builds, then the Bamboo Lab P1P is just the 3D printer for you. Capable of hitting incredible print speeds of 500mm slashed, it is the fastest printer that we have tested thus far, beating the Anchormake M5's record by 2x. It also costs $100 less than the M5, which makes it an even better value and investment for you. The Bamboo Lab P1P is ready to go out of the box and includes an automatic bed leveling feature, so you don't need to go through the cumbersome process of adjusting this height or offsets before you start your prints. It also has a 256x256x256 256 256 build volume and includes premium features such as a direct drive extruder, PI coated flex plate, input shaping, and Wi-Fi. The machine is shipped bare bones, so you can customize and design your own side panels and make it your own. Such a great treat for any hobbyist to flex their creativity and add their personal touch to their 3D printer. And if you want to make multicolor prints, you have the option to add on the AMS automatic material system that uses four different colors of filament at once for $349. Number 1. Creality Ender 3 S1 Pro Creality's Ender 3 S1 Pro is the latest and most impressive iteration of the popular Ender 3 line. Not a cheap DIY 3D printer in need of upgrades like its predecessors, 
the $479 S1 Pro arrives fully loaded, delivering an out-of-the-box experience that's simple for beginners and powerful. For experienced makers, the Ender 3 S1 Pro comes mostly assembled and only took us about 15 minutes and a handful of bolts to put together. Bed leveling, the bane of makers new to the hobby, is no longer a worry with Creality's CR Touch Pro. This is by far one of the easiest auto-leveling systems we've tested. The list of improvements the Ender 3 S1 Pro has over the humble Ender 3 is massive. It has a Sprite Direct Drive with an all-metal hotend, a PEI-coated steel flex plate, a color touchscreen, tension knobs, a storage drawer, a light kit, and even a better spool holder. The S1 Pro also comes with a swappable tool head, allowing you to add the optional laser module for engraving. But all of its bells and whistles wouldn't land the Ender 3 S1 Pro at the top of our best 3D printers list if it didn't also provide amazing output. When we printed a variety of detailed models such as a toy dolphin, a vase and a beckoning cat, prints were extremely sharp, with fine lines and little to no stringing. In addition to the great models we printed with PLA filament, we got really strong results when we worked with TPU and PETG filaments. Some green TPU produce lifelike leaves on a potted plant model.